All right, starting with the Chicago Sky. Now, Sky fans rejoice because we finally have a new head coach. WNBA legend and Hall of Famer, Teresa Witherspoon, has become the Sky's newest coach. And just do a quick recap of how we got here in July of this year, James Wade, the Sky's then head coach and GM, decided to leave the team to become an assistant coach for the Toronto Raptors. Since the Sky was in the middle of the season, the team decided to elevate Emery Vatantsever, who was the assistant coach at the time, uh, to interim head coach and general manager for the remainder of the season. When the season ended, uh, the team announced that they were not retaining Emery and announced that they were splitting the head coach and GM manager roles, which is something that most teams in the WNBA has have already adopted that. And now the Sky have a new head coach uh, with Teaspoon filling that role and becoming the Sky's eighth head coach in franchise history. And guys, as a Sky fan myself, uh, this news is exactly what I wanted. If you remember uh, the Talking Sky with Mom podcast, me and my mom actually talked about this possibly happening. Because before I found out about um, them interviewing her, I was like, my goal for the Chicago Sky would be to get a Teaspoon because I, I think she's just great. To, to me, that's the only person on my list of potential coaches is Teaspoon. Now, do you think that Dwayne Wade would have an influence as to who that new coach is going to be? Possibly, yeah, possibly. And I think uh, I think if he had a vote, he'd probably put his money on Teaspoon also. Okay. And with this news, Teresa Witherspoon is now one of seven former players who now serve as head coaches for the WNBA, which is a very, very cool thing to see. You have Sandy Brondello, who is the head coach of the New York Liberty. She played in the WNBA from 1998 to 2003 for the Detroit Shock, Miami Soul, and Seattle Storm. You have Las Vegas head coach uh, Becky Hammond, who played in the league from 1999 to 2014. She played for the New York Liberty and the San Antonio Silver Stars. Atlanta Dream head coach Tanisha Wright played in the league from 2005 to 2019, where she played for Seattle, New York, and did a brief stint with the Minnesota Lynx. Indiana Fever head coach Stephanie White played in the league from 1999 to 2004, and she played for the Charlotte Sting and the Indiana Fever. Seattle Storm head coach Noel Quinn played in the league from 2007 to 2018, where she played for a bunch of teams, the Minnesota Lynx, LA Sparks, Washington Mystics, Seattle Storm, and the Phoenix Mercury. Phoenix Mercury head coach Nikki Blue played in the league from 2006 to 2010. She played for the Washington Mystics and the New York Liberty. And now we have Teresa Weatherspoon joining the sky. She was an inaugural player for the Liberty, playing with them from 1997 to 2003, and then finishing up her career as a Spark in 2004. Now, I do plan on doing a in the history books about Teaspoon in the future, uh, that is Teaspoon the player. But for now, I just wanna give you a uh, general synopsis of who she was as a player. She was very, very good. That's your synopsis. She was a five-time WNBA All-Star starter. She was a four-time All-WNBA second team player, two-time WNBA Defensive Player of the Year, and she was named to the WNBA's top 15 list. Uh, there's a lot of other stuff uh, that Teresa Witherspoon has done, including a very important shot in New York Liberty history. Um, but I'll talk about that in another episode. Uh, but let's kind of talk about Teaspoon as the coach. So Teresa Weatherspoon uh, began her coaching career uh, with the American Basketball Association in 2007 when she coached the Westchester Phantoms. Uh, then she decided to return to her alma mater, Louisiana Tech, as a coach. Uh, she became the head coach uh, from 2009 to 2014. And during that time, uh, she coached the team to a record of 99 wins and 71 losses. They ended up making they it to the NCAA tournament the twice. Regular season they won the WAC twice. tournament. And they also won She was later the hired by the New Orleans uh, She was later hired 
She was later hired by the New Orleans Pelicans of the NBA in 2019, uh, where she originally served as the player development coach. Uh, She was later promoted to the assistant coach role in 2020, and she stayed in that position until June of 2023 when the Pels decided to release Teaspoon. During her... During her time with the Pelicans, she was most known for her connection with Zion Williamson. Uh, we had a moment last season um, where I was leaving the arena and she asked me, am I all right? <clears throat> and usually I just I brush it off like, yeah, I'm straight. I'm just going, I'm just going home. But it, I just trust Teaspoon so much with like opening up. I was like, no, nah, I'm not. I am not okay. <clears throat> and her response wasn't, her first response wasn't words. She cried for me. She literally just cried for me. And I'm, I remember just trying to take that moment and like, I have somebody special in my corner. She really does care about me. And the feeling is mutual. That's, that's my big sister. Uh, she was there and Stay connected with me through the off season. Um, nah, it's just my big sister. We have a special bond. Now that it's official that she's joining the sky, Teresa Witherspoon has a lot of work cut out for her. Um, she has to try to get the sky back to a WNBA championship. And I know that she is up for this task. And the reason why I say that is because when you look at Teaspoon's journey as a player, Um, and you see her journey as a coach, you can see and tell that she is very motivated to prove others wrong. And she's very motivated to make an impact on others. And it really resonates. It resonated with Zion Williamson. It resonated with uh, the players at Louisiana Tech. And I also believe it will resonate with the Chicago Sky. In a way, she kind of reminds me of Deion Sanders, um, a former athlete who was dominant in their time and is now a head coach that has the heart and patience to help develop the next level of superstars. And also someone who is a fantastic storyteller. So every day that I lay down and I go to bed or I get on my knees and I'm praying, I have to ask myself, I know I did something great for myself in the day, but did I? Do something great for someone else. You have to ask yourself that every single day that you live this life. Are you impacting the lives of other people? So I'm praying that the position that I hold tells people that you can too. Because this life we live, you guys, is only a freaking minute. You got to think that it's only a minute. It's just 60 seconds in it. What are you doing with the minute? The minute. I'm not trying to get to an hour. I'm talking about the minute. What are you doing in the minute that you have in this life? I hope that every day you get up, your feet hit the ground. They know you up because you're about to grind every single minute that you have. Teresa Weatherspoon is the right person for the Chicago Sky job. And it is for sure going to take some time for her to get her bearings and and to to really start implementing what she wants. Uh, But within three to four years, I think we can expect to see the sky uh, as a team that is set to compete for a WNBA championship. Uh, She's going to bring mental toughness. She's going to bring some fortitude to this team. And she's been in the league in the past. Uh, She's a player who who has a legacy in the WNBA. And she's going to be able to bring that to the table as well. After being named the head coach of the Chicago Sky, Teaspoon said... I am excited to be a part of the Chicago Sky family. To be the leader as head coach of an organization in a city with so much history and culture is a dream come true. The things that we are about to do as a team, a business, and in the community will be rooted in excitement, excellence, and hard work. I am thankful to the entire Chicago organization for going through this process and selecting me. I can't wait to get to work. So yeah, what do y'all think about Teresa Witherspoon going to the Chicago Sky? Let me know in the comments below. Um, And at the time of this video uh, recording, the Sky have not announced who their new GM is, 
but most likely I think it's going to be someone internal, um, or it's going to be someone, uh, who has been with the sky in the past. I think it's smart for the sky to bring in a teaspoon first so she can kind of map out her vision for where she sees the team going. Um, and then they can choose a GM that can work to execute that vision. Um, I think normally you'd want to hire your GM first and then the head coach later. Uh, but I think in this particular instance, I think it's best for Teaspoon to kind of weigh in possibly on the GM uh, role so that that way the sky can know that that GM is going to be able to execute and get the players that uh, Teaspoon needs to, to, to make stuff happen. All right, guys, that was your WNBA update for this week. Now it's time for In the History Books, where we celebrate women's basketball's past. And for this episode, we're going to talk about the 1976 U.S. Women's Olympic team. 